What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Vintage Collection Wave 2, Scarlet Spider and The Vision. If you're trying to pick these up, you can order them right now. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So for the other characters from the Vintage Collection, it doesn't weird me out seeing them with this classic Marvel Super Heroes packaging, but for the Scarlet Spider, I think it's a little bit weird. But anyway, I wanted to do a comparison, you know, just show off the Amazing Spider-Man right over there. You know, you gotta see the two of those side by side. But anyway, it says Ultron head included with this one, and then we get the Ben Riley head sculpt. It says swappable parts, and we get the interchangeable hands right there. And then on the back, you can see a read-up for the Scarlet Spider. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it now. Here's the read-up on the Vision. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave. Not much going on on the side, top or bottom, so let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's the Vision and the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider out of the packaging. I wasn't really too thrilled about the idea of the Scarlet Spider figure, but now that I have it out of the packaging over here and we're getting that new plastic with the metal paint mixed in there, or the metallic looking paint mixed in there, I'm liking it actually, man. Especially with the Vision. Look at that right there. And they use it on the Black Panther figure I reviewed yesterday. I mean, yeah, I'm digging it, man. So let's get a closer look at the Vision and then we'll get a closer look at Scarlet Spider. So here's looking at the only accessory that we get with Vision and that is this Ultron alternate head sculpt for the Ultron that came in the Iron Man movie wave. And this looks really good. I gotta say, I really like it a lot. I put it right here on this clear stand. I like all the Kirby bubbles and stuff. Very Kirby-esque with those little yellow bubbles in there. And I like the silver that they used for the plastic. A tiny bit of marbling at the very top, but overall it looks pretty good. And you can see that it is the same sculpt as this previously released Iron Man 3 Wave Ultron with, you know, not as cool looking paint apps, you know. And here's a comparison with the three pack version Ultron, which is actually my favorite Marvel Legends Ultron figure. This has the Kirby bubbles in there and everything too, but you can see it's a different head sculpt. Now what's kind of weird is that you can easily pop the head off of this figure right here, but popping off the head on this figure is very tricky, so I haven't actually actually been able to swap the heads yet. I do need to get a dryer going and heat this up and try to pop that off. So just give me a second. Okay, I don't know about your figure, but it's not happening with mine. As you can see right here, uh, this hinge is ready to pop through this whole neck area uh, before the head was actually able to come off, you know? So that's very frustrating. I can't get this head off over here. I feel like I'm gonna break it if I keep going for it. You can definitely see this starting to split right up over there. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is because I don't wanna break my Ultron figure, but I would rather have this head sculpt on here than this one. So a bit unfortunate, we just have this as, I guess, an accessory for Vision to hold or something. I can't put this on a different Ultron body. Very frustrating. So here's looking at the Vision head sculpt, not looking too bad. It's the same head sculpt that we'd seen from this Vision right over here. I believe this is the three pet. Oh no, this is from the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure wave. Yeah, that's right. So it's the same sculpt, but different paint apps, of course, different design all the way, and I love that they didn't use the bucket cap mold for this figure, but just looking at that head again, I do like the black around the eyes. I think the gold right over there for the soul stone looks really good. Or not the soul stone, right? It's supposed to be a solar gem, isn't it? Yep, comic book version. And then you can see that we do get marbling on this head. Not as bad on this side, but on this side, oh my god. Yeah, and that I think is really the worst as far as marbling gets on this figure. Other than that, it's actually pretty good. But yeah, it's pretty bad on the top of the head right there too. So a little irritating. It doesn't bother me too much because the rest of the figure looks looks mostly very clean and I really like look at this whole chest area that is superb that came out awesome right even if I dim things down you can just see how the, that reflects light really well I love that not so much with the marbling in that area and everything I like it a lot man and then we get some more matted yellow right here I wish we had interchangeable hands with this figure that would have been sweet and you can see the thin black lines running down the middle as it should have so this is mostly looking pretty good. And you know, the shorts don't match up perfectly with our articulation, but that's okay. Looks good to me. The legs are looking really nice. Again, see, mostly clean without the marbling. On the back, you know, you can't really see any marbling or anything. There's no peg hole or anything in the back right over there. And there's a knot from the mold. And then there's looking at the feet. 
Not looking too bad, and he has peg holes. I didn't mention this earlier, I think it's a bit of a nitpick, but I feel like the head sits a little high on this body mold, but it doesn't really bother me. I love that they use this new body mold. Anyway, you can make his head look all the way up, which is awesome for the flying poses, and you can make his head look all the way down. You get that forward and back shifting like the viral driver. You get side to side motion and a decent amount of head tilting. We get the great butterfly joints right there, and the shoulders move outward, they move down. You could rotate forward, rotate back. You get a bicep swivel. You get the double jointed elbows, which is the only real flaw with this piece that could bend in a whole lot more for having two joints right there but anyway you could turn the wrist side to side hinges up and down for both sides ab crunch forward ab crunch back waist swivel hips move outward that much and he can kick forward that much back a tiny bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees boot rotation angles move down they move up and he does have that ankle pivot now aside for the two head sculpts these are the only accessories that we get with the scarlet spider we get a pair of whipping hands and then we get a pair of fisted hands I wish we had a pair of wide open hands just that one extra set would have been really nice to have but yeah Again, so far I'm really liking how the paint is coming through with this plastic. So here's looking at the unmasked Ben Riley head sculpt, and I like it. It's perfect, I think. You know, we have the Peter Parker head sculpt right here for a comparison, and they look exactly the same aside from the flesh tone and the hair color. Uh, the eyebrows should be brown on this as they are, so I think that is great. And it looks awesome seeing this with the blonde hair. I'm very happy to have an unmasked Ben Riley. Very, very pleased with that. Can't really complain about it. Hair looks great. So yeah, pretty sweet. And then we could pop this off and replace it with the actual masked Scarlet Spider head. And this looks really good too. Now the big complaint, I guess, uh, from people, which I didn't actually notice it, but yeah, people were upset about the black lining around the white. And yeah, there you go. He shouldn't have the black lining around the white, as you can see right here. He doesn't have that in the comics. So there we have a more accurate Scarlet Spider head sculpt right there. And yeah, that looks pretty good, except for that right there. Oh, take it outside and burn it! I don't know. I might use rubbing alcohol because the paint is mixed in with the plastic over here. You can see tiny bits of marbling are still in here, but it's minimal compared to what we've seen before in the past, man. I like how the hoodie looks, you know, nice clean deco. Doesn't run all the way up in there. Uh, it did on this version. I liked that, you know, even though it looks weird, but it's not as weird as having that gap of paint right there. So I wish they kept that in there. Uh, same thing when you move that all the way forward, you get a gap and not so on the original version. So that's a little irksome. Uh, we have the added web shooters right here. So that's cool seeing the actual cartridges instead of just this whole painted on thing. So that's an improvement, but I really like this metallic red. I thought, you know, that this was kind of, I don't know, it just threw me off the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, what? But now I actually really like it. I think it looks really good. I don't know. Maybe it's from playing the PS4 Spider-Man game and seeing the suit in that, which has all kinds of added detail to it. You know, the Scarlet Spider suit in that game has all kinds of crazy detail. So I don't know. Maybe I've just kind of been broken in by that, you know, seeing uh, you know, a little bit of a different take on it, but man, I think this looks great. I'm very pleased with it. And we know the articulation on this Scarlet Spidey. You can move his head up that much and down that much. You get side to side motion, no real head pivoting. Uh, shoulders can move outward that far, down, rotate 360, bicep swivel, really good double jointed elbow right there. And then you get wrist turning side to side, hinging up and down. It's same thing with the whipping hands. You can ab crunch forward a little bit, ab crunch back a bit more so. You get a waist swivel and you can move that belt around, of course. Hips move outward that far and he can kick forward that much back at no, actually back a bit more so than the vision figure you get an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees then the angles move down they move up and he does have the ankle pivot and to measure out these figures you can see that the scarlet spider is standing just a little under the six and a half inch mark and it looks like vision is right at six and a half inches then comparing vision and scarlet spider to their previous versions and I don't think this is the actual most recent vision that we'd received before this one I think it was the three pack one right but anyway uh, these two are the two with the same head sculpt so I have them side by side and you can see the two scarlet spiders right over there now I've always liked this red paint I honestly don't have a problem with this matted red I actually still like this but damn that looks really cool right there I really dig it a lot now if you want to pick this up and just utilize it for the accessories you can make that happen I'm gonna swap some parts real quick here 
going, uh, all right, those aren't coming off. The web shooters are glued on there, so I can't swap that. I was gonna try to do it, but nope. But you can easily go ahead and put the Ben Riley head sculpt on here if you wanna do that. That's not hard to do at all, so you can make that work. Then here's our vintage collection, Vision and Scarlet Spider. Next to their Toy Biz version, we have the Spider-Man classic Scarlet Spider, missing some accessories. And then we have the Toy Biz Series 7 Vision. I am definitely going to replace my Toy Biz figure with this new Hasbro figure right here. It's, I still really like this figure a lot. I love that I can get his arms crossed. You can't really do that with this one right here. But uh, he's just a bit short. That cape fans out and takes up more space than I'd like it to. And damn, ah, I just think that looks so cool too. I have to put that on display. But now with the Scarlet Spider, I do have another one of these because I liked it so much I bought two. I have this guy on display up on the ceiling. I'm going to keep him there. This one, I don't know. I may replace it. I'm not 100% sure yet. Then here's our vintage collection Scarlet Spider and Vision next to the two other Wave 2 vintage collection figures I reviewed. We have Hawkeye and Black Panther. And then here's the Vision and Scarlet Spider figures next to your average six and scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Hey brother. Hey brother. Hey robot. Wow, you guys both look great. Wow, such awesome looking upgrades. Wish I had an upgrade. Come on Hasbro. Huh? Where's my upgrade, huh? Huh? Where's my upgrade? Where is my <laughs> I gotta give you guys a big thanks for hanging out with me here on this YouTube channel and watching my video all the way from the beginning to the end. I really do appreciate it. As well as when you hit that like button if you like the video, please leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And I gotta give a big thank you to those that support this channel on the highest level over on the Patreon account. I really appreciate it. If you're already a patron and you haven't checked out the recent giveaways, please go ahead and do so. Apocalypse Build-A-Figure is up there. Anyway, these two figures look awesome. I didn't expect to like them so much. I remember first seeing the Scarlet Spider, uh, I think it was at a convention, I can't remember off the top of my head, I think it was at San Diego Comic Con, and I wasn't really that impressed by it, and I was like, eh, but I actually now have it in hand, and I'm really liking it a lot. The Vision figure I love, I, I gotta, I have to replace that figure with the one that I have on display, but I'm really liking that Scarlet Spider too, and I don't feel like it deserves a lower sud rating, so I'm giving them both a sud rating of, I love it! And again, I'd like to know what you guys think, so please leave a comment down below. I gotta say the biggest disappointment right here though out of the whole thing is that Ultron head doesn't really fit on or I'm not able to swap it with the figure that I think that it was intended to be swapped with, so that frustrates me. Maybe we'll get another Ultron later on in the future, but other than that, I really do like these figures a lot. Again, I'd like to know what you guys think down below. If you want to stay in touch with the latest in Marvel news, photos, and forums, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com, and if you want to stay in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.